links down below in the description box to credit where I'm getting my information from. First and foremost, Brock Lesnar has been removed from the cover of WWE 2K24. It's already been discussed. I've already talked about it, how he's been removed from WWE Supercard. Uh, he was removed from the Royal Rumble. Okay, so he's actually literally been removed from another 2K game. Now he's been removed from the cover. Now you're probably wondering, this is the before the after. That's the clearest picture I could get. So what they did is they took Triple H. They blew him up a little bit, moved him to where John Cena was. They took John Cena, blew him up and put him where Lesnar was. He is still in the game. However, reports, which is pretty legit to think this, reports are saying that they are trying to go as far as fully removing him from the game, along with any mentions of Vincent Kennedy McMahon. I don't really have any opinions on this. Like I said, I'm not an investigator. Uh, he technically, as far as I know, as far as I know, I, I really have to stress that because what I say could be pretty dangerous on YouTube. I don't know that he's actually done anything wrong, honestly. I don't know enough about the situation, personally. Uh, I'm, I'm all about that whole innocent until proven guilty, and right now I just don't know that there's proof. But this could make sense because you're a company. You, you want to take these allegations serious. You want to give people the benefit of the doubt. And you're like, you know what? Ugh, I don't know if I want that guy tied in with our, our brand. We're just going to take him out for now. And if things work out in the future, then we'll put him back in. We'll put him back in. I, You know what? I'm okay with that. I, I really am. Now here, for obvious reasons, I cannot play. I, I strongly suggest you play this on your own. This is what's called the legacy trailer here. Trailer gameplay footage. And what we can take away from this is that Hair seems to be a little bit better. You're going to actually be able to play as a referee. And you're going to be able to um, to do certain things. Like, for example, here. I'll show you this really quick. As I'm showing you the whole darn thing. Yeah, the casket match. We already know about that. So that's kind of cool for sure. Right here. Take control as a guest referee, right here we have Randy Orton, and he's like, oh, I'm sorry. I don't think I feel like counting to three. And then RKO, I would say out of nowhere, but I knew it was somewhere. And uh, that's the thing of beauty right there. So that's like really cool. 200 plus superstars and legends. And again, like I said, Brock Lesnar may or may not be in the game. And right here you see... It even has the updated um, new thumbnail preview, whatever it is you want to call it. Give me one moment and I shall be right back. Where was I before I was rudely interrupted by my dogs trampling around, having a little wrestling match of their own downstairs? Had to give them the Goomba stomp and an RKO out of nowhere. Okay, so that's done for the trailer. Again, watch that down below. From IGN, I'm going to blow this up a little bit here. I'm not going to play the whole 13-minute thing. However, actually, I need to do something. I'm sorry. This is why I'm not getting over 100 views a video. Right, so you see what the ambulance match is about. The lights flashing, all that kind of stuff. Watch this on your own, like I said. I haven't seen this. The graphics look like they have been subtly improved. Hair physics, the actual like movement of superstars, I think for generations to come. We're going to have a little bit of, uh, not jankiness, but it's not going to be fully float. Now, reversal, late 
from the competitors. It looks You're like reversals, like I said, based on the other preview gameplay that we saw is working. Just the overall physics, the collision detection, uh, the hair being a huge, huge thing. I mean, I wouldn't know much about hair. I used to have long hair like The Undertaker. I used to dress and look like The Undertaker. A 250-pound version of The Undertaker. Well, actually 180 when I was in high school. So that looks good in terms of the actual, you know, just the overall physics there. Watch this part. I, I did see this in a preview. Bop. I'm waiting for the day where there's like a a, a glitch where the the weapon that you throw just ends up like going up skyrocketing to the ceiling because the physics, again, the key word of the day there, is not that great for the weapons in 2K23. And again, don't forget you can turn the camera so that the ramp is at the top. Remember that. But in terms of the angle for the tilting, and I've already made a video on that, it looks like it's pretty much identical. Everything, to be honest with you, looks fairly identical, but I do truly believe based on what we have all seen. See, there was that little bit of a jankiness there where he grabbed him. Whatever. I, I think it's going to feel relatively the same, but, there, but there's going to be some added stuff, right? Tired finishers, special guest referee. I almost said rainbow match, ambulance match. It looked like a rainbow fest with all the colors. Uh, hopefully pen sliders work. Uh, don't know too much about universe mode and how in-depth that's going to be. But I feel like when you're jumping and you can hit a bunch of opponents, just like all those subtle things, the super finishers that you could save when you save up three of them. I truly believe that overall it's going to freshen things up and it's going to be exciting. It probably won't be for everybody. You know, for the amount of money that these games cost. Some people could be like, you know, I just recently got 2K23 on sale. Do I need to get 2K24? And it's like, if you're just a casual to even mid fan, I would probably, believe it or not, probably not even bother. Honestly, but I'm a die-hard, die-hard fan. I really... Why are you closing the... I'm not in there. Look at me talking as if I'm Owens. But uh, for me, I, I would definitely... I'm definitely buying it. I mean, my channel rides on it. I mean, those 25 views I get per video are paramount. Now let's take a look at the commentary a bit. Now that just looks amazing. So with extra things to interact with, I have a feeling ambulance matches are going to be a lot of what my universe mode is going to be about because I'm all about the whole pinfalls anywhere. I think there's pinfalls anywhere. Well, except in this case, you got to stuff them in the ambulance. Uh, but that's what I'm all about. And the other cool thing too, um, you know, that I, I don't think we've seen yet because I, I am pretty much at the end. I think I'm just going to mute this, to be honest with you, while it kind of runs in the background for a moment, is um, the commentary is by Byron Saxton. And the reason is, is because until they do like a new engine and redo like a bunch of stuff, I think Byron is just easier because they're recycling a lot of the same lines. But obviously when he talks about the ambulance, what they're going to do is have him narrate a lot of the lines. It'd be a lot easier to do that than to uh, to get in there and record with all these new commentators like Kevin Patrick. Is he even sticking around? I don't know. I personally would love to see Pat McAfee. I do love Corey Graves, Michael Cole. And truth be told, I actually do appreciate Byron Saxton quite a bit. Um, so there's that. But yeah, I, I just I can't wait to see as well referees. Referees is a huge thing. What's cool about the ambulance match is, you see, because when there's pinfalls anywhere, there's a referee. What if the referees are still on bath salts where they're all like super wonky and they're moving around sporadically? If you want a match where there's no ref, 
essentially just do the ambulance match. Worst case scenario, right? That's what I'm saying to you because as of right now, we've seen trailer footage for like two, three seconds before they cut it to something else. We've seen Rhea Ripley and, and Bianca. I don't remember who we saw. We saw the ladies do an ambulance match because this is, you know, they're pushing this thing, which, which is fine. And now we see the men. We see Kevin Owens and Undertaker uh, doing, again, an ambulance match. And, and that's fine. Like, I'm totally not, oh, not complaining. Where's the ref? I want to see if they've improved the referee because the movement of the ref was awful in 2K23. And then they did improve it a little bit. They never even mentioned that they improved it. Uh, but the hair moving around, again, I, I could promise you the hair is, for me at least, paying very, very close attention. Uh, I do think the hair physics have been improved. I think hair is something that's actually really hard to do once you start getting hair like longer than Rhea Ripley, for example. I do believe it can become uh, quite difficult just to have it act in a way that's natural and not like it's got a fucking mind of its oh the reversal worked the ddt the awkward interaction with the leg on the ropes i don't think that's ever going to escape until they change the engine see even that little thing i know i'm nitpicking but i'm supposed to do that i'm supposed to nitpick and and pick out every little itty bitty thing i might have noticed because if i don't then I end up like a yes man, like a shill that's just like, yeah, this looks good. Buy it. Yeah, I'm not that guy. I, I will never be that guy. If I think something's off or repetitive or the same, I'm just going to say it. But I do think that this is an improvement, like I said, overall. How much of one and is it worth the money? Only you can make that decision. But me personally, I'm going to eat this up big time. Just the fact that you could throw a sledgehammer at someone's face and, and, and then stuff them in an ambulance and not have to have a referee that's constantly getting in the way. Uh, I don't know about you, but I, I'm definitely getting all over that. Now, again, the little rope collision thing, eh, you know, I mean, honestly, that, that's just a small thing. It, it doesn't really like bother me or ruins the experience. I mean, right now we've already been watching this for quite a while. Yeah, Corey Graves, Michael Cole. Byron Saxton. Uh, but as as I watch the gameplay and I'm really paying attention. Now and then you can rage. Uh, which now does the super finisher. I think he's gonna do a super finisher here. Oh, super finisher. See it popped up. Oh man. See how it does that weird vignette, not vignette, but that weird thing. I don't know if you can turn that off, but I think I am gonna end it here because I think I've talked enough. Uh, but I am super excited. Like I said, check this out on your own from IGN. It's probably on YouTube somewhere. Uh, you'll probably get like a slightly higher quality representation when you're watching it. Plus, you don't get to hear me ramble. But yes, the commentary is going to be very similar, but it will have been updated a little bit to take into consideration. Obvious things, like I said, the casket match, the ambulance match. So much easier to have Byron Saxton, like I said, narrate a couple of extra lines than it is to grab Kevin Patrick or uh, Pat McAfee or whoever else on there. But uh, yeah, I'm very excited. I'm, I'm being optimistic. I really am. The fact that reversals just seem to work, that in itself was a game-breaking glitch that never has and never will get fixed in 2K23. The fact that they didn't, though, is what's always going to scare me about 2K24, is what if we discover another game-breaking glitch like that and it doesn't get rectified? Sliders never ended up working without the workaround. Reversals never worked, no matter what you did, no matter what slider settings you had, they just did not work. There's a lot of little things like that that added up. The rival system completely, 100% fucking broken, right? And they never fixed practically any of them. So what is this game just going to magically this year? This is the one and done where there's absolutely no glitches. And if there are just all of a sudden now they're going to decide to work on them. Why would this year be any different? I'm just saying that's my legitimate statement as to why it's legit to be concerned still, despite the fact that we're seeing some good footage here. As always, if I get more information, and it seems like a good 
time to talk about it. I will definitely make another video. Okay? So, thumbs up if you did like it. It does greatly help support the channel with the algorithm. Thumbs down, as always, if you didn't like it. And uh, I'll bend it in half, twist it, break it off in your ass. And Andre the Giant thumb in your ass. And then Hogan's going to leg drop your waist because, you know, that's near your ass. And then and then you'll get... Uh... No, that's enough of that. If you want to subscribe, great. If not, whatever. Thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, and maybe I'll see some of you in the next one. Bye for now.